Hello and welcome to my channel. I hope you enjoy this story. I'm going to try and upload a new story each day. The Sinister Symphony of Lakeside Manor Holly, an accomplished composer seeking inspiration for her next masterpiece, found herself unexpectedly inheriting Lakeside Manor on the Isle of Wight. The sprawling mansion, surrounded by mist-covered lakes, had a dark history steeped in a legendary symphony that was said to have been composed within its walls. Intrigued by the mysterious tale, Holly eagerly explored the manor, stumbling upon a hidden chamber that housed an ancient grand piano. Discovered sheet music lay on the piano, the notes written in a language unknown to her. Despite the unsettling atmosphere, Holly couldn't resist the pull of creativity. She decided to recreate the haunting music that had echoed through the halls decades ago. As she played the first haunting notes, the air thickened and the temperature dropped. The room seemed to come alive with unseen whispers. Unbeknownst to Holly, her rendition of the symphony acted as a catalyst, awakening a spectral orchestra that hungered for the living. Each time she played, the phantom musicians materialized, their translucent forms wielding ethereal instruments. Strings, winds, and percussion blended in a macabre harmony that resonated through the manor. Holly, consumed by her art, remained oblivious to the spectral entities gathering around her. One fateful night, as the ghostly orchestra reached its crescendo, a malevolent conductor emerged, his eyes gleaming with an otherworldly intensity. The maestro of the afterlife, long confined to the shadows, now sought to expand his spectral realm by claiming the living. The haunting symphony had become a dark ritual, binding the musicians to the will of the conductor. Holly, unaware of the sinister forces she had unleashed, continued to play, unwittingly strengthening the spectral orchestra's connection to the mortal realm. As the spectral musicians grew more powerful, their hunger for the living intensified. Holly began to notice strange occurrences, objects moving on their own, chilling whispers in the dead of night, and glimpses of translucent figures in the corners of her vision. The manor itself seemed to pulse with an otherworldly energy. Desperate to understand the truth, Holly delved into the manor's history. She uncovered a long-forgotten tale of a composer who, driven by an insatiable desire for immortality, had bargained with dark forces to create the haunting symphony. The curse unleashed by this unholy pact had plagued Lakeside Manor for generations. Realizing the gravity of her situation, Holly sought guidance from a local paranormal expert. Together, they devised a plan to break the curse. The duo delved into forbidden rituals, seeking a way to banish the spectral orchestra and free Lakeside Manor from its malevolent grip. As Holly confronted the conductor in a final, chilling performance, the paranormal expert conducted a counter-ritual to sever the ties binding the spectral orchestra to the mortal realm. The atmosphere crackled with supernatural energy as the two opposing forces clashed. In a crescendo of ethereal music and arcane power, the curse was shattered. The spectral orchestra dissipated into the shadows, and Lakeside Manor fell silent once more. Holly, exhausted and shaken, emerged from the ordeal with a newfound understanding of the dangers that could lurk within the pursuit of artistic perfection. The manor, now free from the sinister symphony, stood as a silent witness to the price of dabbling in the supernatural. Holly, forever changed by the haunting melody, left Lakeside Manor behind, carrying with her the echoes of a ghostly orchestra that hungered for the living, a tale to be whispered through the ages. Haunted by the memories of Lakeside Manor, Holly retreated from the world of composition, seeking solace in a quaint cottage far from the Isle of Wight. The ordeal had left an indelible mark on her, and she struggled to shake off the haunting melodies that lingered in her mind. Months passed, and Holly's life seemed to regain a semblance of normalcy. However, the spectral orchestra's influence had not fully dissipated. Late at night, she would hear faint echoes of the haunting symphony, a chilling reminder of the darkness she had unleashed. Determined to confront the lingering spirits, Holly delved into research on ancient rituals and paranormal phenomena. She discovered a forgotten manuscript that detailed a ritual to commune with spirits and seek forgiveness for trespasses into the supernatural realm. Realizing that this might be her only chance at redemption, Holly prepared for a risky endeavor to communicate with the spectral orchestra. Returning to Lakeside Manor, Holly set up an elaborate arrangement of candles and arcane symbols in the same chamber where she had unwittingly summoned the ghostly musicians. 
As she began the ritual, the atmosphere thickened and shadows danced around the room. The air crackled with energy and Holly felt a presence gathering. To her surprise, the spectral orchestra materialized, their ethereal form swaying to an otherworldly rhythm. The conductor, once malevolent, now wore a summer expression. It seemed that the spirits were willing to communicate, perhaps seeking release from the cursed existence Holly had unintentionally condemned them to. In a ghostly whisper, the conductor revealed the tragic tale of the composer who had struck the unholy bargain for immortality. The spirits, bound to the symphony, were tormented souls longing for rest. Touched by their sorrow, Holly implored the spirits to forgive her unwitting transgressions and offered to help them find peace. The conductor, moved by Holly's sincerity, guided her through a complex ritual aimed at breaking the curse's remnants. Together, they unraveled the dark magic that had bound the spectral orchestra to Lakeside Manor. As the last notes of the ritual echoed through the chamber, the spirits gradually faded away, leaving behind a profound silence. Lakeside Manor, once a hub for malevolent energies, transformed into a serene haven. The mist-covered lakes reflected the moonlight in a tranquil dance, and the haunted melodies that once played Holly's thoughts dissipated into the cool night air. Having redeemed herself and laid the spirits to rest, Holly felt a weight lift from her shoulders. The ordeal had taught her the importance of respecting the boundaries between the living and the supernatural. She left Lakeside Manor with a newfound wisdom, carrying the echoes of the sinister symphony as a cautionary tale for those who dared to tread into the shadows of the unknown. As she looked back one last time, Holly couldn't help but feel a sense of closure. The Isle of Wight, with its misty lakes and the now silent Lakeside Manor, stood as a testament to the thin veil between the world of the living and the realm of the supernatural, a veil that, once torn, could unleash a symphony of horrors that echoed through time. Thank you for listening. I hope you enjoyed this story. Please don't forget to like and even better like and subscribe. Thank you very much and I hope you have had or have a great day.